So I'm in the process of hiring an insight analyst and actually not, people don't really have a common understanding of what insights is and it's fine if people have different interpretation but I thought I'd create this video of what I think is like a generic understanding and my colleagues also who've been helping me interview believe is a generic understanding of what insights mean. Now a lot of, if you're a data analyst and you want to get and you want to uh, talk about doing insights you really need to understand what insights is okay because a lot of data analysts and I mean a lot I've interviewed quite a few looked at a lot of CVs who think that they do insights don't actually do insights. So what is insights? and what do data analysts need to know about insights so that they can say they do insights. Okay, now if you think about it, whenever you, as a data analyst, you may run a report, okay? So you run a report and, and you run some numbers and you get a uh, you know, trend or you see something go up and something go down and then you talk about it or you write about it, okay? That's what I call commentary or observations, okay? You're looking at the data and you're observing what's happening and you're writing about it. So that's the commentary on the observations, okay? So the, the, you, you're saying the chart, you know, you week on week it's gone up, uh, uh, you know, this is because of X, Y, Z, whatever, okay? So you're, you're observing the data and you're commenting on it, okay? That's not really insights and that's what a lot of analysts believe are insights. So they'll say something like, oh yes, you know, this has gone up uh, week on week, uh, which means that we should do more of this, okay? But that's not really an insight, that's an observation. You know, we ran a campaign, the data went up, the, let's say the data's visits went up, therefore we should run more of the campaign. That's, that's not really insights, okay? So what's different between just like talking about the data, observing, talking about what you're observing in the data and what is insights, okay? Now insights for me com consists of three parts, okay? The first part is obviously the data. You need to know that, you need to describe the data and you need to use that data, okay? The second part is context, okay? So if, for example, a campaign worked and sales went up, but it it was Christmas, okay? Sales always go up in Christmas, so did this go up more or less than other times in Christmas? And the final uh, component, the third component, is your knowledge, your perspective on that, okay? So you need to bring something to the knowledge area, okay, to provide a perspective. And it's the combination of those three that create insight. And that combination can only happen in your head. It's not something that a machine can do where you can uh, systematically use AI or machine learning algorithms to do that. Insights come from within human head. And, and, and I personally, I believe you can only do insights you know, only people can do insights. Machines can't do insights, okay? So you can't have a report that has insights in it, okay? Because machines can't just do insights. Insights have to be done by people. Those three components, how, how do they work and how do you as a data analyst develop those skill sets? So let's take, I don't know, uh, retail, okay? So you're selling gifts, okay? So what happens is you look at the data and you find certain trends, okay? So gifts consumption or purchases goes up during holiday seasons or gifting seasons. So Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's, Christmas. Okay, when people give gifts, that's when sales go up, okay? So you look at the graph and you go, okay, oh wow, it's gone up at Christmas, it's gone up at Valentine's Day, it's gone up at Mother's Day, gone up at Easter, Father's Day, whatever, right? Okay, and then you see a, 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 a consistent sales of birthday cards, because birthdays happen all the time, or anniversaries, or, or you know things to congratulate people which are happening quite flat. So, so that's the observation of the data. The next thing is the context, okay? So you're a retailer that sells gifts. So that's what you would expect. So if you say, oh, sales have rocketed during Valentine's, you expect that, okay? That's something that you bring in terms of context. You're looking at the data and you're going, it's gone up in terms of Valentine, but I should expect that. I'm a gifting business. That should go up. Okay, the question is, has it gone up more or less than, than you know, what it should do? And that's where your knowledge comes in, okay? Things that you've read around this industry, things that you've read around generally, okay? So you might have realized that the economy is tanking, you know, the, the uh, retailers are suffering, but you've gone up. So you could use it. You could add that and say, look, it has gone up. And yes, we do always go up in Valentine's because we're a gifting business, but actually the economy is actually stagnating. Um, you know, people aren't spending as much. Other retailers are suffering. So we seem to have bucked the trend. So therefore you provide an insight now because you've combined all those things. But then you've got to like provide it in a way that says, look, sales have gone up in uh, Valentine's Day because we're a gifting business where it should go. But actually this is actually, um, uh, you know, uh, against the trend that's happening, you know, regionally, nationally, whatever, because retailers are suffering. So maybe gifting isn't being impacted by the economy. Maybe people are still buying gifts even though the economy is stagnating or tanking, okay? And that's an insight. Now the business thinks, wow, okay, so it looks like that even though people um, don't have much to spend because they're not spending it in retail uh, because retail sales are going down, they still seem to be buying gifts. That's an insight. That helps the business now plan and think about what they can do. In Mother's Day and Christmas coming up after Valentine's Day, do they actually do something different? That is actually an insight. And an insight should always not only... Um, 
create some kind of tension. Like, like I said, you know, sales are going up for Valentine's Day and actually retail sales is going down. So maybe people aren't being impacted by the economy. There's a bit of tension because people are thinking, well, why would, you know, or the business is thinking, why would still people still buy gifts even though they can't afford it, okay? That's a bit of tension. It's, it requires some kind of uh, extra sort of um, research or extra sort of thinking to, to understand why people may be doing something um, that seems contra to, um, you know, what, what, what you're observing in, in the industry. OK, so if you are a data analyst and you claim to be doing insights, make sure it is true insights, because like I said, I'm actually recruiting for an insight analyst and I've come across a lot of people who claim to be doing insights, but all they're doing is describing the data. OK, so insights is more than just observing the data and commenting on it or describing it. It is bringing context. OK, and it's also bringing your own knowledge and taking the data and combining all three in your head and coming up with an interpretation or an insight about what is going on. And like I said, sometimes that insight should create a bit of tension so that people have to think more about it rather than just take it as given, okay? And insights usually lead to more strategic decision-making than tactical decision-making, but not to say that it can't be, but typically you'll find that insights are quite good sort of like fundamental truths. They, they help the business understand consumers or the, in, or the marketplace in a certain way that allows them to move forward. So I hope you found that useful. I hope you found. Hope you now understand what insights is uh, compared to just describing the data or commenting on the data. Um, if you have any further questions about it, please do ask it in the comment section below. If there are other terms that you don't understand, then also please do put it in the comment sections below and I'll try and make a video about it. Please do like the video and share it. And of course, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.